E gridate, 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 sai a me che me ne importa. E parlate, parlate, io fingerò di ascoltarvi per l'ennesima volta. Professor Mosler, secondo lei i deficit pubblici sono la vera causa della crisi europea? In your opinion, are public financial deficits the real cause of European crisis? If Europe had been able to immediately respond to the beginning of the crisis by increasing their deficits, if they'd been able to have that political response, then uh, the crisis would not have been, the, the financial crisis would not have spilled over into the real economy. Okay, so the cause of the crisis in the real economy, the cause of the rising unemployment is always because the deficit is too small. Okay, now, um, but the deficit didn't necessarily cause the financial crisis that caused the drop in aggregate demand. So, for example, um, you could have a massive bank failure because the bank made bad loans. And that could cause uh, a big drop in credit availability for the rest of the economy. But the government can always respond to that drop uh, with either a tax cut or a spending increase to make sure that aggregate demand, that spending stays high enough so that we're at full employment and uh, high levels of output. So I'm not, I'm not trying to duck your question, <laughs> but uh, the, the idea of the deficit causing it is the problem. You have to define the problem. <laughs> And if you define the problem as high unemployment, the answer is yes. It was caused because they did not make the adjustment to let the deficit go up. If you define the problem as a bank failure and shareholders losing money, no. That could be bad loans or that could be something else. So we have to more narrowly define the problem for me to give you an exact answer to your question. So I hope that's helpful.